Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Evil Within, Chapter 11, Part 3. It's been a while since my last upload, but let's dive right back into The Evil Within, Ruvik. The Evil Within. <laughs> now in the last one, something happened to Sebastian. Something that we didn't expect would happen. We knew that Joseph wasn't in great condition, but Sebastian too? We did meet back up with Kidman, but she ran off, and I think she might have found Leslie and taken him with her again. Really hope that he's safe. I hope that she doesn't put him in harm's way again. Whatever happens, we need to find him, and we need to stop all this from happening. And we need to stop Ruvik, so let's get on that. Looks like we've walked straight into Mannequinville. Flammable Mannequinville. <laughs> oh boy. Proceed with caution. running. <laughs> you can't catch me. Oh god, please. I hear you behind me. Go away. <laughs> Is he okay? Seems like we're all marching towards the same thing. Who's gonna get there first? to train. Great babysitting duty. Kidman is young and green, but has that sense of entitlement that all the rookies have these days. I always catch her giving me sideways glances whenever I have to bend the rule book a bit. She doesn't understand that sometimes it's part of the job if you want to break a case. Joseph, as usual, tells me that I'm being oversensitive. I think he's got a crush on her. Maybe. All I know is that I've got to keep things close to the vest when she's around. That's not... No. Hmm, that's very interesting. <laughs> Serial killer investigator missing. Identity and fate of investigator unknown. Case goes cold in countryside serial killer investigation. Police deny lead investigator missing. How can you deny when he's missing? Oh. Nurse? Are you here? Oh, is she by them? Oh! It's been a while since your last visit. That actually made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Because it's been a while since I've played... You're walking into the wall. Okay. I think, like the room, she's starting to glitch out a bit, too. Are you okay? Do you need a break? Do you want me to go get you a cup of coffee? Bless her soul, she still is here, working day in and day out. Meanwhile, this place is falling apart. I respect her, and I relate. You keep going, you keep doing your thing. Right, time to head back into Rubik's world. Figure out what's going on. Find Joseph, Kidman, and Leslie. Still give me the chills. Oh, 
sir. That was very rude, when my main concern was this mannequin right here. Joseph. They left us at a cliffhanger! Unbelievable! Oh man. But see, I'm not gonna end it here. We're gonna keep going. So, let's just continue the story. <laughs> Thank God you're alright. How Is did you he? get here? It wasn't easy. At least I haven't had any more. Episodes. I wish I could say the same. Hey, I think I might have found us some transportation. This thing gonna run? Only one way to find out. Shit! Oh? A hi, what Kidman. Are you doing? Oh, I'm with her. Start the bus. Let's go. What is that thing? Oh my goodness. It's a ride. Welcome aboard, sailors. We are on one hell of a journey, <laughs> let me tell you. Damned if I'm going to die in here. Man, what a crazy ride through the city, huh? What a day. Here. Now what? You're gone. Enemy up front. Leave these ones to me. Oh no. That was a close one. us to the left up here. Joseph's making me nervous. Oh my god. That was really close. Where are we heading, Joseph? I've got a theory. We seem to be moved around an awful lot. Almost as if by someone's will. So it's nearly impossible to get any sense of the geography around here. But the light, Beacon Mental Hospital, it's always in the distance. Yes. This thing you found me hooked up to, I've seen it in more than one place. Yeah, so have I. It seems like it's the same exact one, but it's hard to be sure. The thing that I've noticed is that each time I run across one, I seem to be closer to the lighthouse. It could be a coincidence, but like I said, it seems as if there is some intelligence behind it. Nice work, detective. The right side looked like it led more directly toward the hospital. Joseph! Uh, 
Carlos! No! Oh my goodness! Just get us out of here! Oh. Put pressure on that! Face. Stop the bleeding! There might be some kind of first aid. I'll go. No, I'll do it. Don't let any of them on board. That's not a coincidence. He just starts mentioning that and he gets shot. There's no way. We have to help him. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. In the next one, we're going to go to that ambulance, we're going to get Joseph help, and we're going to stop the bleeding. I can't believe he just randomly gets shot after he starts mentioning facts. When he starts understanding what's actually going on around here. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this episode, and stay tuned for chapter 12, part 2, coming out soon. Much love.